what we cover here is about development and this place just exploding in population. Despite that, though, more than 100 child care sites across the state of North Carolina have closed in the last year, 16 in just the last two months. It's all because federal funding is about to go away. It's going to run out at the end of the year. As WRL's Eric Miller reports, the child care providers are barely hanging on right now and families are scrambling for alternatives. It's important to remember what's been going on behind those NCDHHS numbers. The federal government provided hundreds of millions of dollars in assistance during the pandemic. That money ran out in June. The state government then stepped in at the last minute, providing $67.5 million. And with that funding set to dry up in December and costs continuing to mount, the pressure on this industry has only continued to increase. There's plenty of things that are hard about motherhood, but for Ashani Gaston, finding childcare has been one of the hardest. Garbage. It's been horrible. The Durham mom of two says it's not just the cost. You're paying close to rent. But the lack of options. We need funding so that we can keep childcare. Data from NCDHHS shows the number of child care sites in the state has been on the decline for years, driven in part, say child care directors like Emma Biggs, by rising costs. A lot of centers and programs were already hanging by a thread. Big says things have been even tougher recently, especially between June when that federal funding ran out and last week when state funding finally arrived. Yes, I've been talking to my colleagues and a lot of us have been struggling trying to, you know, have we heard when the money's coming down? Do you know when the money's coming down? Big says the state funds have given them time. But with that money set to run out in December, she says the industry is facing yet another cliff that could cost North Carolina families. We need to be able to bring in qualified staff and to retain the ones that we have. The General Assembly is going to be back in session later this year. Governor Cooper has encouraged lawmakers to take this issue up again once again when they return. In Raleigh, Eric Miller, WRAL News. It just affects so many families. The Triangle is actually the most expensive area in North Carolina, the whole state, when it comes to child care. That counts even with Charlotte. Take a look at this map here. The darker the color in this map, the more expensive the child care is. You can see Wake, Durham, and Orange counties are all shaded darker than Mecklenburg or Cabarrus counties. The, uh, the median yearly cost, the median of child care in Wake County is just short of $16,000. It's nearly $17,000 in Durham County and over $18,000 a year in Orange County. The price of child care comes down in many, in many places to supply and demand. People need child care. More and more people are living in North Carolina and the child care options just aren't keeping up. In fact, as Eric just reported, supply is going in the opposite, the wrong direction. The in-depth team has been working on several stories about families and the cost of living and the struggles that, that, that they can kind of come into now and then. We do want to hear from you on this. Please send us an email. Send it to dan at wrel.com. What does child care look like for you in your household? What are some of the, the major issues and hurdles and struggles that, that you find? And what do you want our leaders to do about it? Send me your thoughts and we will go in-depth. Okay.